Hi, my name is Dave. I'm a tour guide here at the Titan Missile Museum. Uh, back in the 70s, I served in the Air Force on a Titan missile crew. Uh, so I'm going to show you a little more about this silo. Right now we're on level three. Level three is dedicated to power. This is where our backup generator is. 550 horsepower diesel generator. This is going to supply us with 480 volts that this silo needs to run on. Now, we buy power just like everybody else. From, uh, we get ours from Tucson Electric, but power goes out, monsoon season, or a first strike from the Soviet Union. So we needed a backup. This is our backup. It takes 90 seconds for this to spool up and start creating the electricity we need. We can't go 90 seconds without power because the gyroscopes and the inertial measurement unit always need power. So there's two backup batteries on level three of the uh, control center, and those kick on immediately, going to supply us power th that we need until this kicks on. So part of our duties, every day we would come out here and start this up to make sure it ran. Now the way to start it, down on the lower level I showed you, there's an air compressor, an air tank. You'd hit the button, it would shoot out that air, that air would get those pistons running, and that's how we started this generator. And these are our breakers. This is our control panels. Now, just like at home, you have circuit breakers. Probably just like this down in your basement somewhere. That's what a circuit breaker looks like. Well, for a missile silo, 480 volts, these are what the circuit breakers look like. This is all high voltage. It's very dangerous. And this would supply us with the power we needed to keep this place operational until we were able to launch this missile, if it was called for. Everything down here is dedicated to the generator, dedicated to the power. It's all, you can see, on shock absorbers and springs, so it could survive a first strike. And the rest of it is all to get rid of the exhaust down here. Uh, there are these things called blast valves. Blast valve allows air in and out in this case. But during a first strike, if it detects a nuclear attack or if it detects a launch, those things slam closed, cutting off the air supply to everything. That 100,000 gallon tank would act as a heat sink, would keep this generator running uh, for as long as we needed to get this missile to launch. After the missile launch, we're basically out of electricity and we're kind of on our own at that point. All right, so thanks for watching. This was level three of the silo. Uh, hope you stick around to watch uh, any more upcoming videos we're going to have.